Katja here and welcome to my dreamland uh, round canvas. Here I have gorgeous paper from uh, AB Studio and this is dreamland paper. Yes, I have this beautiful gorgeous paper, uh, amazing landscapes. It's a beautiful collection with uh, gears and flowers and etc. And uh, I'm thinking to do a round canvas. So I will cut out uh, from this paper and uh, use it on my uh, round canvas. So I'm cutting it out and sometimes when you have so beautiful papers it's difficult to choose uh, which side but this time it will be the more uh, clean side and with the big gears. I uh, use my scissors to make the edges a little bit more rough. I know there are tools and uh, it works perfect with the scissors and uh, I want it a bit little rough on the edge, ed edges to give it more life and I try to give it more more effect on some places more rough so I go around it to give the effect that I like. You see me I'm working and I want to have some places on the side so I tear it off also like that. And in front of me I have soft matte gel from Finnabar and I will use soft matte gel and I will use it like a glue and I have a silicone brush and I really enjoy the flat brushes to uh, have on my surface and I will stick my paper. The soft matte gel it's uh, almost like a decoupage glue and, or something like that um, and it gives a fine effect and I'm adding a little bit more and uh, it takes a little bit time before it's complete dry uh, so I'm pushing it so it will uh, uh, dry flat and to not give any bubbles uh, on my surface so I'm holding it a little bit yeah and when it's uh, dry I use my uh, silicone brush. You can use your fingers or a regular brush. Uh, I uh, add the clear gesso all over the surface here because I want to keep it the paper still the pattern and if I have toned it down, I have used some white gesso. And that's because I will add some um, paint over it. So I want uh, to let the paint flow. Now I have uh, prepared some cutouts, beautiful, beautiful papers from uh, the Dreamland collection. There are uh, some collection with papers with different sheets. And here I have made some cutouts from the Dreamland collection. I have used different papers, Amazing Life, Flower Life and uh, cutouts also from the bonus sheet. There are all, always, so uh, if you order a, a whole kit with papers, you have always a bonus sheet. And I have chosen some, uh, some of the papers and made some cutouts and also painted them with uh, clear gesso. Okay, you see me using now 
some oil pastels from Prima. I want to have a thin uh, layer of shading, not so much color, because I want at some some contrast. And uh, now when I'm finished with my canvas, when I know the outcome will be, um, it will not show so much. But you know what I say? I really enjoy the process. And when I was in, um, in this uh, stage of in my process, I had perhaps uh, another idea. And that's the the joy with the to create perhaps you have a plan but when you create the plan changes and that's okay i don't mind it and perhaps sometimes i do layers or i do something uh, on my background and it will not show and you will find here that also that what i'm doing now it will not show but I enjoy the process and I think this was the first time when I was using my old pastels. So I have great time playing with them. So you see me playing around with teal, green, brown and a little bit yellow shades. Um, and when they're dry, um, I will start to do think a little bit how I'll do and uh, you see me use the oil pastels I realized that I want to have more dark colors so I simply use my pen and uh, use my fingers to add and it's really gives a gorgeous effect. I, I think I must do this more often to use the oil pastels and to give a dark effect. And uh, I do this because I want to keep the gears here on the papers and add more contrast because I think the paper are just amazing. I hope you will enjoy the the videos. There are so many talented uh, people uh, who create with the uh, AB Studios paper. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos. And uh, click on the bell button so you will have a notice when there is a new video. And give also the thumbs up if you like the video. Okay, we have I have some stamp set, gorgeous, gorgeous stamp, and it's so many stamps in the mixed media set number two. And I would pack pick the round stamps, and uh, I will be stamping with my embossing uh, ink and I realize I must have something uh, in the back of the canvas because when I'm been stamping um, I must have something hard on the back side. So I use my embossing ink and stamping a little bit here and there and I use the three different stamps a little bit randomly but uh, I have some plan or not I don't know and I use a white embossing ink or embossing powder so sorry and uh, try to get all over where I have been stamping and you see it's a little bit difficult because uh, my uh, canvas is uh, hard. Here I have, I could have done in other way. I have could done it on the paper and when I have 
done some layering, I could add it on my canvas. So you can um, always do on the different ways. But like I said, this is one way and uh, this is the way I've done it on a project because I haven't decided ahead what I will do. So don't worry. Uh, sometimes um, it goes like that. Okay, here I have this just amazing, amazing uh, uh, stencil with numbers. I just love it. Numbers and letters are a great contrast to things and here I pick some numbers and add them here and there and um, you will see I was wishing that I have made some more numbers but I think I will think about that in some other project in the future and you see me speeding up a little bit so I'm adding numbers here and there and I have some uh, graphite paste from Finnabare. And this is a gorgeous shape of numbers. Um, yeah, you see me add them here and there. And sometimes you don't know uh, how much and how big your composition will be. Uh, be sure to clean your stencil, uh, you can do with um, water, I use baby wipes because I'm a little bit lazy to go to the kitchen or the bathroom to wash my stencils, so it's easier to use baby wipes. Yes, I will pick some other um, stamp from the mixed media set number two, there is some text. And now I have black ink, water resisting, and I will stamp some text here and there to give some interest. And um, so this is a way of adding some interest to n and texture to not have it too flat. I think it already looks amazing. Let me know what you think. It would be fun to hear and leave a comment. Uh, I will try to come back or I will come back and read it. And here I have some uh, shipboard and I have embossing ink and then also and I have uh, embossing ink with the mixing sizes of flake from Stampendous. I like them and I'm not so exactly when I will do embossing. It doesn't need to be on every little piece of the shipboard. I uh, don't mind. Um, and it takes a little bit time for the shipboards to heat, so I'm going over to the project. And here I have the plan to emboss my numbers, but it was still a little bit uh, wet, the paste. So I decided to add some uh, embossing powder on the graphite paste. And what's happened is that it gives more texture and that it gives more glossy effect on my here I have some leftover shipboards uh, and I don't throw uh, my leftovers I use them and I have used them here as for the background to give a little bit more depth to my um, round canvas and now I add my shipboards uh, as uh, for some um, interest in the background.
So be sure to subscribe to the channel and give the thumbs up. And uh, if you like, share with your friends. Um, perhaps there is something like th that you find interesting. That would be enormous fun. I think it's important to share and to like, to be supportive uh, if it's uh, something you like. Here I have some um, uh, ribbon and it's a ribbon from a previous project and it's a little bit green and brown. I also have some what you call it? I forgot the words. I hope you see what it is. Suddenly I lost my words. Oh, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. But it's middle of night when I have done this uh, vo voiceover. And, uh, you know, I must uh, find out the word. Uh, and you see me using uh, the shipboards in the background the leftovers and that's perfect for my katats to give them a more sturdy back and also to give some dimension. Yes and now my decoration start to go on the branch. Yes, wooden branch. Uh, and it will not show so much, but it's, you know, it's from the nature and it's uh, really cheap, so it doesn't need to cost so much the project. Uh, because, you know, sometimes there are so much decorations and like that used. So, so to use uh, wooden branches that you can pick in the forest or you have something fun in your garden, it's uh, to get a more low-cost uh, project. Now you see me adding um, my cutouts. Sometimes I have some shipboard leftovers in the background and sometimes not. I'm gluing all my cutouts with a 3D uh, gloss gel. Uh, you can use any medium if you like, but I will really prefer the Finabert gel and um, yep sometimes I have two shipboard pieces sometimes I have one and I have shipboards uh, the leftovers the branches so there are places to fill the gaps and that's what I do I've tried to fill the gaps on the natural way so my decoration stick out a little bit here and there. And I really enjoy these uh, cutouts. It's, uh, you can uh, spend some time in the sofa looking on the movie or listening on radio music and do your cutouts. And uh, then you're ready to do a project and they are already cut out. And that's perfect because I'm a little bit impatient uh, to do some coloring or something like that. So this is a perfect project. Uh, then you can do some coloring or stamping or adding more color or touches on the cutouts. That's okay. But you see, it works perfectly fine and my branch is almost covered with these gorgeous cutouts. Flowers, leaves, uh, the feathers, uh, clocks and gears in a gorgeous mix. Almost like a dream catcher. And I think uh, that was my per perhaps my bottom, my first idea about the dream catcher. 
Now I will add a little bit of contrast uh, to all of my uh, cutouts. So I add a little bit of contrast in color in my flowers and I want my paper flowers only to show a little bit so I stick them under yes to stick them under to give a little bit more like a shade and a contrast to the cutouts to give contrast uh, make the cutouts to pop out a little bit more I also have um, some metallic embellishment and they are brown and uh, rustic gears uh, and I add them also here and there. Uh, that's uh, what I try always to do on my projects. If I have something, much of something, I try to add contrast. Like here, a lot of paper cuttings. Then I add metallics and flowers. Uh, I will add some more layers also, but I try to do that. And if I have a lot of cuttings, I try to add something glossy or papers or something on that. Because I think the cutting, uh, the contrast make interest for the eyes. I think uh, that's my vision. I have some pebbles here, some, and I'm trying them out. I also have um, some metallic wire, and it's not, it's a very, very fine and thin uh, metallic, and I, it will not be perfect, so you see me having some wire, almost like a thread, uh, messing it up and uh, pushing it in some places. So I stick it and my product is not still dry and there are some gel uh, and I add a little bit more extra. And now it's only important that, that I leave it for drying. And then the wire will stick perfectly on my project. I really have a, had a good time creating this round canvas. So fun uh, with all my cutouts. You must uh, try this. Um, it's easy project uh, even for, for beginners if you haven't done it. Yep, so fun. Try to layering and adding more details. I really enjoy it and um, now I'm thinking to have some sweet sequins and uh, I will also add some art stones. A little bit of the soft matte gel and I had some stones. And I love these stones but I'm sure to not have too much, only here and there to add a little bit more interest. So not too many on the brush. Uh, some projects I can add more, but this time a little bit uh, fewer ones. So if you don't know what to do with a project, be sure to add clear uh, gesso or white gesso on your cutouts or uh, background paper so you can play with colors for before you can change that you can use mind now you see me adding the sequins and i want to add some shine to my project i love glitter and shine and like that and again it's about my con it's about the contrasts yeah and you know i love the butterflies feathers and flowers so it's a really really fun project now 
I want to have like a shades around my details so I will add more w little bit water and the oil pastels and adding a little bit more shade around my um, composition so the composition will pop out more uh, I don't want to have too much color so you see me uh, playing around yeah hope you enjoy this video and um, I have fun and I have been chatting a little bit here even if I am a little bit tired but so so fun creating and you see I go around my oil pastels and it's getting more brown and dark and I'm playing around and having a good time and that's what uh, creating is about to having a good time now I'm adding a little bit white splatters and it will not show so much only like a small detail on the project so hope you had a great time and uh, see you soon in the next tutorial have a nice time bye bye see you soon again